here we are in Pro Tools 11, and of course I'm using my 11 rack for guitar sounds. And I've been having a problem in Pro Tools 11 where the input of the 11 rack is active even if a track is not armed. So you can see here that I don't have any tracks armed at all. And yet, if I strum my guitar, I'm getting input. And that's definitely not what you want. And furthermore, if we now go and arm a track, now I've armed a stereo audio track. And now if I play, you're going to hear that the guitar sound is being doubled and it's going to be kind of phasey. It'll be much louder too. So that's just horrible and definitely not what you are looking for. However, I have found a solution that works for me and that would be to come up here to options and cycle low latency monitoring. But simply turning on low latency monitoring won't fix the problem. As I'll show you, I'll check low latency monitoring. And I'm still getting that input even though I don't have any tracks armed, okay? So what you wanna do is arm your track. And I've always used a stereo audio track for this solution. So make sure the track is armed, okay? And you're getting that doubling. And then come up to options and select low latency monitoring. All right, now you're gonna hear it. Did you hear that switch? And now we can come back up here to options and uncheck low latency monitoring. And now the 11 rack performs as it should here in Pro Tools 11. So now I can arm tracks to get the sound. Then when I unarm them, the amp sound is not coming through. It works on mono tracks as well. So there you go. If you're having the problem of the 11 rack, doubling on your system in Pro Tools 11, you might want to try out that solution. I'm not certain what the root cause of this problem is. I've only had this problem in Pro Tools 11. I've not had it in Pro Tools 10 or in Pro Tools 9 or, of course, in Pro Tools 8. And I've even used the same drivers on Pro Tools 9 and Pro Tools 10, either 1.1.6 or the latest as of this video, 1.1.7. And I don't have this problem in Pro Tools 10. It only happens in Pro Tools 11. And I'm on Windows 8, by the way. I'm not sure if this problem carries over to the Mac side. But there you go, that's a potential solution that works for me consistently. Every single time, it works for me. So I'll simply arm my track first, you know. Make sure I have my input. Come up to options, hit low latency monitoring. Come back up to options, hit low latency monitoring, and I'm ready to rock and roll.